The Ming Dynasty was founded by Zhu Yanzhong, a peasant who rose to power during the Red Turban Rebellion. The Ming Dynasty is considered to be one of the golden ages of Chinese history. The Ming Dynasty was a time of great peace and prosperity in China, and it is no surprise that it left behind a number of important ancient sites. Here are some of the most famous sites from the Ming Dynasty. The Forbidden City, also known as the Palace Museum, is the former imperial palace of China and the largest palace complex in the world. It is located in the heart of Beijing and was the home of 24 emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties for over 500 years. The Forbidden City is a vast walled complex that is surrounded by a moat and a 10-meter high wall. The complex consists of over 900 buildings and 9,999 rooms. The Forbidden City was closed to the public until 1925, when it was opened as a museum. Today, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in China and is a testament to the power and wealth of the Chinese emperors. The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications that were built over centuries to protect the Chinese Empire from invaders. It is one of the most iconic structures in the world and the Ming Dynasty established the Great Wall of China in its current form. The Great Wall is not a single, continuous wall, but rather a series of walls, towers, and other fortifications that stretch for thousands of miles across northern China. The Great Wall was built over a period of over 2,000 years, and its construction involved millions of people. The earliest sections of the wall were built in the 7th century BC, and the wall continued to be expanded and modified until the 17th century AD. The Ming tombs are a complex of mausoleums that contain the remains of 13 Ming emperors. They are located in a beautiful valley surrounded by mountains in Changping District, about 50 kilometers northwest of Beijing. The Ming tombs were built over a period of over 200 years and are arranged in a hierarchical order, with the tomb of the first Ming emperor, Zhu Yanzhong, at the center. Each Ming tomb consists of a series of courtyards, gates, and buildings. The main building in each tomb is the underground palace, where the emperor and his empress are buried. The underground palaces are decorated with elaborate carvings and murals. The Temple of Heaven is a Taoist temple that was used by the Ming and Qing emperors to pray for good harvests. It is one of the most important religious sites in China. The temple complex consists of a number of buildings, including the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, the Imperial Vault of Heaven, and the Circular Mound Altar. The Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests is the main building in the Temple of Heaven complex. It is a circular wooden building with a three-tiered roof. The hall is decorated with elaborate carvings and murals. The Imperial Vault of Heaven is a smaller circular building that is located behind the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. It is the holiest place in the Temple of Heaven complex and was used by the emperors to store their prayers to heaven. The Circular Mound Altar is a large open-air altar that is located in front of the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests. It was used by the emperors to perform their annual sacrifices to heaven. The Summer Palace was a summer retreat for the Ming and Qing emperors. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most beautiful gardens in the world. The Summer Palace is a vast complex of lakes, gardens, and palaces, and is considered to be one of the finest examples of Chinese imperial landscape design. The Summer Palace is divided into two main sections, the Longevity Hill area and the Kunming Lake area. The Longevity Hill area is located on the north side of the palace complex and contains a number of palaces, temples, and pavilions. The Kunming Lake area is located on the south side of the palace complex and contains the lake itself, as well as a number of islands and pavilions. The Summer Palace was destroyed by British and French troops in 1860 during the Second Opium War. However, it was rebuilt in the late 19th century and was opened to the public as a museum in 1925. The Longmin Grottoes, also known as the Dragon Gate Grottoes, are a series of Buddhist cave temples that were carved into the limestone cliffs of Longmen Mountain. The grottoes were carved over a period of over 400 years, from the 5th to the 11th centuries, and contain over 100,000 Buddhist statues, more than 3,000 Buddhist sutras inscribed on stone tablets, and over 2,800 niches. The Longmen Grottoes are one of the most important Buddhist art sites in China, and are considered to be a masterpiece of Chinese Buddhist art.
The grottos contain a wide variety of Buddhist sculptures, including statues of Buddhas and heavenly beings. The sculptures are decorated with elaborate carvings and murals, and are some of the finest examples of Buddhist art in the world. The Potala Palace, also known as the Patrongkarpo, is a former winter palace of the Dalai Lamas, the spiritual leaders of Tibetan Buddhism. The Potala Palace is a vast complex of buildings that is perched on top of Red Mountain in the center of Lhasa. The palace complex is divided into two main sections, the White Palace and the Red Palace. The White Palace was used for ceremonial purposes, such as the enthronement of the Dalai Lama. The Red Palace was the private residence of the Dalai Lama and his family. The Potala Palace is home to a vast collection of Tibetan art and artifacts, including statues, paintings, and manuscripts. The palace complex is also home to a number of important religious sites, such as the Jokhang Temple and the Phagpa Lakang. The Mogao Grottoes, also known as the Caves of the Thousand Buddhas, are a series of Buddhist cave temples that were carved into the cliffs of Mingsha Mountain along the Silk Road. The grottoes were carved over a period of over 1,000 years, from the 4th to the 14th centuries, and contain over 490 cave temples, over 45,000 square meters of murals, and over 2,000 painted sculptures. These are just a few of the many ancient sites from the Ming Dynasty. The Ming Chinese left behind a rich legacy of archaeological sites that provide valuable insights into their culture and civilization.